Hey guys and welcome to Versus Scale. So today SEO writing has rolled out a major major update and it's been a while, it's been exactly two months since the last update and we got the introductory hook and some of the other neat features but uh, this update is really massive. The first one and this is big 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 for SEO writing is the improved readability feature. So you can now choose between various different readability levels starting from grade 5. Then you have quote unquote deep web plus citations making this extremely factually accurate rivaling that of perplexity. So you are now getting references slash citations with all of your outputs. And this comes at a price. So as your writer introduces a new professional tier. Let's take a look. So we are still getting the free plan and then the starter plan. And what's very important to note is that the improved readability is available under the starter plan. But if you want to use external linking, which is another major update by SEO writing. So if you want to enjoy external linking, internal linking, which is going to come soon, the brand voice, deep web, auto citations, then you will need to switch to the professional plan. So the plan for today is to compare SEO writing to perplexity, since SEO writing is going to give us the outputs that are reminiscent of perplexity with citations. We're going to be using the one-click prompts that I've tested on perplexity, and we'll measure the word count, the SEO score, readability, and depth. And the keyword in question is again, can agility writer pass AI detection? Prior to that, however, I want to show you a new resource that I've launched. The website is called seowritingreview.com, which is a whole website dedicated to SEO writing and SEO writing only. So you can enjoy various reviews, video tutorials, and of course, our exclusive coupon code. 30% off is the best discount code you will ever find anywhere. So no one else has a higher discount rate. This is a privilege that you have as our community. But let's head over to Perplexity and write an article. And since SEO writing is still using GPT-4 Turbo, we'll be using GPT-4 Turbo with Perplexity as well. And this is the prompt that contains the outline from NeuronWriter as well as the NLP keywords from NeuronWriter. So let's fire it up. And while we wait, let's do exactly the same inside of the SEO writing. So we would need to go to dashboards, one click blog post. Our main keyword is does agility writer pass a detection? The title is going to be the same. I think I'll choose small since the perplexities output is not going to be very long. Point of view, none. This is the readability. So you have uh, six different options, 5th grade, 6th grade, 7th, 8th and 9th, and 10th to 12th. Let's test grade 7, country, United States. Now I won't be using any details to include, although I can. Let's use both uh, images and YouTube videos. For the SEO, let me copy over the keywords. I won't be using any FAQs. This is another feature, so external linking. Yes, I want to, this to be automatic. External linking automatically integrates authoritative and relevant external links into your content while also allowing you to manually specify desired links. So we'll use uh, 3 to 4 and then evenly throughout. Now let me switch to a premium GPT-4 Turbo model. I'll be using the deep web to show you the citations. Yes, yes. And now to the outline editor. So this is slightly tricky, nothing too difficult, but you need to copy the outline like so. Okay, and then the number is going to be the type of the heading. So one stands for H1, two stands for H2. And these are all going to be H2s. Okay, so let's just copy everything like so. We won't be publishing to web. Um, so everything else looks okay. And while we're waiting, let's see what uh, perplexity.ai came up with. So this is going to be a shorter output since this is GPT-4. I'm usually getting a longer output with Claude. So we're getting a 72 SEO score and 882 words. 72. Now I did not prompt perplexity for better readability. So I'm getting a default readability of grade 14, which is very high. And for the depth, let me first check the output of SEO writing. Okay, SEO writing is done. Let's take a look. So we have our key takeaways, a short introduction. Uh, we can already see the perplexity style citations, external links, nice looking table, another table, a quote, more citations, another link, another table. Nice. So let's copy everything. So the score to be the 72. 
Okay, it's still writing 76, and the word count is 1776. Let's check readability, because this was one of the biggest cons of SEO writing before. Let's get rid of the source links. And this is readability grade 9, which is amazing. 9, as far as the depth of the article, you can already tell. So this is the article by perplexity. A lot of text, uh, nothing as far as tables, lists, the information is very on the surface, uh, whereas the thin tables, lists, quotes, conclusions, key takeaways, is just pure better. So I would score this a 6, whereas SEO writing is a 10. So once again, SEO writing has just had three major updates. So number one is citations or references. The other one is readability which is the biggest one for me personally, then external links. And then we'll have internal links and custom knowledge, which is slash brand voice in the upcoming weeks, hopefully by the end of April. Fingers crossed. If you want to get more information about SEO writing, go to seowritingreview.com to enjoy the 30% off discount. Watch the video tutorials. And this site will be a living, breathing creature that I will populate with different tricks, tips, and tutorials. Hope this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.